Welcome back to The Food Guide. I'm your host, Matt, The Food Guy, and your food guide. Sandwiches, two pieces of bread, filling in between, whatever our heart desires. So today's food guide, I decided to find some of the best sandwiches and delis here in Dallas. Let's just say I came across a New York style deli that made a Reuben that blew my mind, an Italian style deli that made me go mamba mia. But first, breakfast. And like any good breakfast, gotta start with a bagel. Here our first stop, Shug's Bagels. Bagel sandwich to kick it off. Enough about me and more about this food. Let's go check it out. First stop here at Shug's Bagels. Since 2018, they've been serving up these fine bagels. This is their Shug's Bagel. The morning glory. Oh, that looks amazing. Blueberry bagel, we got peanut butter jelly, bacon, honey. Not in New York, but closest thing we'll get to a New York bagel here in Dallas. On Fridays and Saturdays, they have a night time. So like, they cut it off in the day and then you can come back in the night. Get your bagel fix. Egg bagel, perfect way to start our sandwich video. Never had an egg bagel before. Amazing. It's not as dense as I thought it was going to be. And, you know, we just got the Shug. You can also customize your bagels. Obviously, you can put whatever you want on them on any bagel. They got several kinds of bagels, several kinds of meats. They serve cheeses, spreads, buy bagels by the bag. They were voted in the Big D's Best Bagels. And honestly, with a sandwich like this, the best way to start your morning off. Time to get our sweet kick, the morning glory. Also, comment down below, what's y'all's favorite bagel? Eli, here's an everything bagel person, me. They had a French toast bagel. I'm gonna have to get that next time. That sounded delicious. Honestly, a French toast bagel on this sounds good. Bottoms up. <laughs> Forgot to say they're bananas. So PBJ, banana bacon, honey sandwich. Get my sugar fix, guys. Sandwiches, literally two pieces of bread, if you will, bread, and whatever you can sandwich in between it. This is a sandwich. This is amazing. We're actually near SMU, so this does seem like kind of like the place to go get your bagels, your breakfast before you go to class. SMU, that's a very popular place. Tuesday at 9 a.m. Yeah. Ba bagels are popping. Yeah, most places we go to usually is popping, so. It just goes to show how good these bagels are and how popular this place is. It is a delicatessen, guys, so technically this is a deli. Yeah, guys, this is a delicious bagel. Man, that blueberry bagel. I'll just call it the Elvis instead of the Morning Glory. It sounds kind of erotic, like Morning Glory. Uh, I implore y'all to check out this if you want a nice bagel sandwich to start your morning. Shug's bagels, Shug's, Shug's, don't know, don't care, sorry, not really. Delicious bagel, makes me want to go buy a bag of them. Well, breakfast is done. Next stop, we're going to go eat some of the finest Italian meats here in Dallas at an Italian deli. See y'all there, enough about me, and more about this food. All right, we're here at our second stop at Jimmy's Food Store. Since 1966, three generations of the Decalo family have been running this grocery store. Since 2004, they've been serving specialty Italian goods, and of course, Jimmy's Meat. Can't say that with a straight face. Jimmy's Meat is some of the best in Dallas. And we gotta try their sandwiches like any true deli. Let's check it out. Enough about me and more about this food. Oh, it smells like basil. It smells amazing in here. All right, so we got the Italian stallion, 12 inch on an Italian white bread. And we also got the prosciutto panino on a six inch on Italian white. These are some of the best meats, guys. Apparently, Jimmy Sausage, like stores buy it so they can put it in their food. So that's how impressive it is. Meat quality must be amazing. They also have several pastas, several sauces, in-house pizza, lasagna. Got big Italian wine selection, guys. Jimmy's Food Store is where it's at. But mostly, can't wait to try these sandwiches. There's already like three people waiting in front of us. And honestly, the sandwiches must be good because they just opened like 30 minutes ago. It's not like fresh basil and sauce like right when I walked in. Like I couldn't describe it, it was beautiful. Like walking into Sicily. Can't wait to eat these sandwiches, guys. Sheesh, this thing is huge. But yeah, this is the Italian stallion and boy oh boy. I got it with everything on it just to give that true experience, but um, this looks amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh man, the meats and the cheeses are immaculate. There are pickles and I think olive oil and some other stuff on here, but honestly, holy crap. This, these deli meats are popping right now. Like, oh my God. Yeah, there's no dining guys, so we're back in the car. Subway can go to hell. This is just amazing. I don't even know like what's all in it. This is basically like their all meat sandwich and honestly, everything's popping. We uh, met an employee, the guy said they're Cubano which I already know already how I feel about that. And he said their meatball subs are like really good. So, hey, we have a reason to come back and based off this Italian salad, oh, sooner than later, time to try our second sandwich, the six inches, which honestly, that's pretty big. Six inches, wouldn't you say so, babe? If anything, that's 12 inches, Matthew. Six inch prosciutto panino. I'm trying to enunciate the Italian panino, prosciutto 
pancetta, mozzarella. Mozzarella. I'm being offensive. I'm sorry, guys. But anyway, love prosciutto, guys. Look at the layers on it. So thick cut of mozzarella, prosciutto, tomatoes. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. But yeah, guys. Hmm. Wait. There we go. The first bite was just like pure tomato, but now the mozzarella and the prosciutto are kicking in. The tomato is pretty prevalent, but the mozzarella kicks in towards the back and the prosciutto finishes it off. It's like a three punch combo. Mm. See the olive oil. Mm. Oh, damn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> prosciutto is so thin, but it just packs so much flavor. Holy crap. Oh, I'm in love, guys. We need to come back to Jimmy's already. Ooh. Sandwiches, the Italian stallion, this prosciutto, dink it. Mm -hmm. Man, that's so good. That was just the best, guys. Yeah, Jimmy's Food Store was amazing, guys. Incredible meats, cheeses, and just Italian goods. Y'all need to check it out whenever y'all get a chance coming inside to Dallas. Definitely did not disappoint for an Italian food store or Italian deli. The meats and cheeses were to die for. Mamma mia. But we still got one more sandwich stop. I'm going to try a Reuben for the very first time. And what better place to do it than at a New York deli? Enough about me and more about this food. We'll see y'all at our third stop. We're here at our last stop next to the highway. Last stop at Sydney's New York style deli. We're gonna get that touch of New York with our sandwiches. We're gonna try my very first Reuben. Let's go check it out and see if it's worth all the buzz. Sydney's is a very popular delicatessen here in Dallas. Variety of meats, cheeses, very well known for their bakery as well. So you can't really miss here coming to Sydney's. That store owner on both took over the original Cindy's, placed a couple letters, added a couple menu items, and now we're here. But they got several locations throughout DFW, mostly in Dallas. So this is a Dallas staple. I've actually been to Sydney's for breakfast, pancakes, spot on, nice cup of coffee. But I've actually never had the, the pleasure of trying their sandwiches. New York style deli, you gotta try the Reuben, of course. Reuben for those of y'all don't know, rye bread, corned beef, sauerkraut, Swiss cheese, and can't forget that Russian dressing. I heard the portion sizes are pretty huge, so let's see. Guys, you know I got a big stomach. Oh, yeah. This is our New York style Reuben, guys. Toasted rye. Not a real big Swiss guy. Russian dressing. What's Russian dressing? I don't know. Hope it's like Thousand Island dressing. I didn't think I was gonna like that, but that's nice. The corned beef is very flavorful. Never had sauerkraut before, so I don't know what that was gonna be like. I thought it was gonna be like ginger, the meat, juicy. You gotta give us some of this Russian dressing. Yo, the Russian dressing with the Reuben, the rye, the corned beef. The sauerkraut? I didn't think I was gonna like sauerkraut. Part of the reason why I wanted to do this channel, guys, is so I can try new foods out. Plain Jane, when it comes to my food, I take. I used to take a lot of things off. Eli here can attest to it. I used to be the Plain Jane, like meat and cheese guy. Part of these food adventures is trying new items and how they're supposed to be eaten, like so. And honestly, no regrets. You can see why people eat this. This will get you full. I definitely need to eat some more Reuben, guys. Hopefully one day I can go out to New York for real, for real. Oh my goodness. Like, it was sweet, but there's that nice like, hint of salt from like, I guess the juices from the meat. So many sandwiches. Ooh. Chugs, shugs, shugs. I thought it was shugs. Jugs. I'll just go shugs. I already said, Dicalo. It's Dicalo. Yeah. Those bagels, the sandwiches. Kick the morning off just right. Uh, Jimmy's food store. I was blown away by the quality of those Italian meats. What can I say? Meat in my mouth, guys. Definitely going back to Jimmy's. And of course, had a finish here at Cindy's. First time trying a Reuben. And boy, that was delicious. This has been the Dallas Sandwiches and Deli. I hope y'all enjoyed. If y'all like this video, here's another video above my head where I went to go try out a bunch of Cubanos. I'm going to want to check that out. Thank y'all for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe down below. If you like Dallas food content, food content, or just like your boy. I will see y'all next week. As always, guys, I am your food guy and your food guy. Think enough about me and more about myself. Peace. Hey, yo.